Now to what's next in the state of education. Tom Horn will once again be the state's top education official. Superintendent Kathy Hoffman conceded this morning. Tonight, political reporter Mark Phillips sits down with Horn and looks at what, what his win means for the schools here in Arizona. Tom Horn says he's all about academic achievement, and that will be his focus as superintendent of public instruction. My very first priority, and what this is really all about, is getting, is getting the emphasis back on academics, having kids learn more, do better on their tests, and be better prepared for our, our economy so they'll succeed in the economy. Horn says he wants to work with incoming Governor Katie Hobbs to lift the aggregate spending limit on schools and raise teacher pay, two priorities for Democrats. If she's willing, I'm very willing to work with her together to see to it that we do everything we can to get the emphasis on academics and have our kids do better in school. But Horn says there will be changes in what's taught and what's available to students. There are certain things I want to eliminate. I mentioned to you the uh, queer chat, social emotional learning, uh, critical race theory. Uh, that, that starts day one. Queer chat is a resource for LGBTQ plus students on the Department of Education's website. Horn says unsuspecting students could be victimized by predators and once it shut down. The Arizona Education Association challenges Horn's positions on critical race theory and the value of social emotional learning. SEL is something that, and the CRT verbiage, is a political talking point. It is not based in reality. CRT does not happen in K-12 schools, period. Marisol Garcia says the importance of social emotional learning, which teaches children how to respect one another, has only grown since the COVID lockdown. She encourages Horn to see how it's taught before eliminating it. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.